Okay. So, I don't know if you'd be able to see it down there, but let's see what you can see. Okay, uh, the flashlight. Okay. So, it's not doing too great, but I traded my 740i. Yes, that just happened. And I'm picking up this 550i GT for now. Well. I wish it wasn't raining because this is pretty annoying. I do not want it to be raining right now, but hopefully the rain stops so I can have some fun with this thing. Get a ticket. <sighs> yeah, I actually really like the way this thing drives. Damn, it's all flooding and stuff like that out here. All right, people. I'm gonna tell what the bugger pulling. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get some daytime footage driving this thing, but oh man, this thing is heavy. Wind up that window because I don't know why he wound that down. It's a little drizzle over there, but it'll be good. Not too much in here. And let's see. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is better. The display turned off, so I don't really know what I'm seeing right now. But yeah, we'll definitely be putting this thing into like sport mode and all that kind of stuff. But not now, because you know it's raining. I don't want to do that. Because you know I just got it, so I'm not trying to ruin it. slow down the ground is still wet so not gonna really be able to do any fun stuff right now but uh yeah well i think this is a decent view um let's see hopefully you can see sport plus dynamic traction control activated blah blah, blah. yeah so it's a daytime driving view. Hopefully the view is good. I should connect it to my phone, but I don't know. I'm, I'm stupid, so I didn't. Or I should at least grab like a tablet or something so I could do it easier instead of using the Wi-Fi off my phone. So I can actually use my phone at the same time as the camera, but it's just like, yeah. my theory my dad wants to get an x6 and he's saying he wants to either do it um like later on in the year or sometime next year but he gave me this car and told me to park my car at his house because i don't know he's probably doing something or going somewhere whatever but it's just like i think the reason that he did that is because he's probably gonna be like oh you like the car you want to buy it like I'm pretty sure that's why. Well played, sir. Well played. Because I really do like this car. Like, the 550 GT is a wonderful machine. And I'm actually going to do, you know, like a review of it. And talk about it and my first impressions and everything. But this is just like a really nice car. And I don't know if it's just because I'm... Like, it's not mine yet. But, like, I was stuck in traffic earlier. And I didn't mind. 
because it's just like such a nice comfortable luxurious car granted it's not too different from the 7 series because bmw is like a if it ain't broke don't fix it type of company but like a lot of stuff is similar but it's just like a little refined because you know it has like the eye drive and everything and this is a little bit more torquey since it's a v8 twin turbo but this is really similar to the 740 im sport or the 540 im sport because it's the same engine so this will be more like the equivalent to the 540 but yeah i really do like this car and it's on my list because in real in reality i do want an r32 either gtst or if i can find like a cheaper gtr because my plan is to wide body it and bag it and cut it up so i don't want like a perfect car to do that if the body is you know a little dinged up and stuff that'll be perfect grab one for around like 15 to 20k and that'll be all good put the body kit in the bags and all that kind of stuff and wheels and all that fun stuff like the uh like monster performance i think it's called the guy who has like monster mode on his um r32 and it's a why it's red wide body i think it has white wheels and like a turbo vq which is weird like somebody putting like a vq which is known to be like a very unreliable car a very unreliable engine when you're going for power but i guess made it work so that's kind of what i want so it's going to be between one of these a 135i uh a uh, Porsche Panamera 4S, like a 2011, 2012, or the R32. So I don't know what I want yet, but after driving, this is uh, this is like really nice because the E36 is already going to be like a race car. So I don't know if I want another race car. Like I feel like a daily driver would be nicer, but if I get like the R32 and it, it happens to be a GTR, it's all-wheel drive. So that being all-wheel drive will make it a little bit more dailyable since for now I live in Massachusetts, which has snow. But yeah. Anyhow, the new cars aside, my new job actually does have opportunities to possibly move. So if I can, um, maybe in a couple months or something, I'll see if they can move me like somewhere down south or California I would love to do California but it's really expensive there and strict so if they have like a place in Florida or something or Texas I know they have Texas because they're thinking of making like a second bigger like facility there so if they do that I definitely would do make like a request to transfer to Texas or something because Texas is a very nice place as well I've been there only one time but I hear a lot of good things and the property values are relatively cheap in comparison especially to Massachusetts and California and those places so yeah that's definitely a very good option or if they do Georgia I love Georgia as well but yeah that's kind of like my plans and this is more so just like another test for the head cam because this is on the Osmo Action and yeah so I guess I'll get to you guys when I'm you know doing like a once over of the car because I'm showing it but I've never done, you know, like, I've never really done anything with it. Alright, so, I'm at the top of this parking structure. And, I'm about to eat my food. But I felt like it was a pretty decent place to get some, you know, little clips of the car. I'm gonna use the, um, Osmo Pocket and use one of the, um, video making features that it has. And you know get some like beauty shots of the car and stuff like that and then after yeah i'm gonna eat my food actually i might eat my food first and then do it but yeah the car is here behind me and i actually really like this thing the simple fact that this dude had me drive it because he knew i was going to like it it's sick it's really sick i wonder if he has water in here kind of thirsty <laughs> Wall burger, bacon mac, onion fries, chicken together, smacks.
driving out of this, um, what do you call it, this parking structure. And I'm gonna head home, edit the video, post it. But yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys like my little first impression kind of thing. So one thing is the car is really smooth. Granted, um, the air suspension setup in the back is like a really simple type of setup or whatever so you can kind of tell that it's not on like regular struts so I'm pretty sure like this is what they meant when they when like a lot like back in the day you used to say like air suspension is kind of floaty but it's not bad it's just like different and different uh, in comparison to like airlift 3p and airlift you know like air shocks and like regular coilovers and stock springs like it feels a little different kind of weird to get used to in the sense that like i don't know if this has like the um torque vectoring stuff where like when you're turning it makes one wheel spin a little quicker or whatever whatever like stuff like that i don't know if this car has that but if it does then that would probably be another contributing factor to why driving this feels a little bit more weird and like mechanically assisted than the 740i like the 740i is like a luxurious like sports yacht if i may and this is like a not bigger version because they're about the same size i think the 740i and sport is a little longer but it's like it feels bigger so it's just like it feels like a bigger newer version of that and it's a little bit more peppy. One thing is these burn oil and they generate a lot of heat. So I'm pretty sure this would definitely benefit from like a front mount intercooler. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that would like help this thing a lot and even wake it up. Cause I don't really know of any mods for these things, but if it was one thing I would say that because the engine bay generates a lot of heat. So if you made the intake go to the front, like a front mount, it definitely would feel a lot better. But overall, even though there's a few negatives I can call, kind of say with these, it's a great car to drive, comfortable. Um, it's like all the, you can really tell the difference between like the normal mode, sport mode and sport plus. Like when you're in sport plus, you can hear like the turbos whistle and everything and the, um, gears change a little higher so it's just like a little bit more of a sporty feel to it but you know it's not too bad it's a great car and i definitely would consider buying one like even right now i'm considering like it being like a potential next car because it needs a little bit to fit my liking in the sense of like looks i'd like to lower it and i'd like to put like an m5 front bumper and a different exhaust so I can, you know, hear it and probably like some down pipes and everything like that. Like a little bit of performance mods, a little bit of looks, aesthetic mods. And after that, I feel like this will be a perfect car. Like it's a great daily. It's pretty good on gas. Um, 14 miles per gallon city, 18 highway. And that is in traffic speed. So if you're in a place that there's not much traffic, then you're getting a lot better gas mileage. Like. 18 city and 20 21 highway maybe a little more but that's basically how i feel about the car it's pretty nice it's a great car to drive and it's a car that i definitely would consider owning would just have to look into like modifications and stuff like that because i've literally never seen anything because this is more of like a dad car which is kind of what i want to do next so yeah Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.